Patent search is important, but the Patent Office website is not user-friendly. This video is a step-by-step -step guide for simple patent searches. It will teach you simple term combinations and steer you away from demoralizing mistakes. This video is in section so you can skip to the parts you need. Let's get started. I'm starting at the USPTO webpage, but the search tool is at this address. Here's how to navigate to the search tool. First, click on the Find It Fast box. Then click on the top patent link labeled Patent Public Search. The Patent Office gives you two search options. This seems counterintuitive for simple search, but use Advanced Search. Basic Search is easy to use and terrible at getting the job done. Basic Search will put you on the fast track to reviewing 1,500 documents. You're going to see a search window like this. It has white space to type whatever search terms you want. If I'm searching for Monopoly like board game, I can type in board game. I could free flow ideas into the search box like I do with Google. What did I do wrong? First, I had the wrong idea. Patent Office search is precise, accurate, and rarely assumes. The search sees board game and finds you every document with the word board or the word game. Take control of what you search by using and, or, parentheses, and quotes. If you do this, this highly precise search will cut out smaller batches of documents that have exactly what you want. Searching with quotes gives you your first victory. This is way too many results, but each step you take will zero in on the right batch of results. That brings us to our first takeaway. Carefully connect each word. If you don't use care, you can end up fooling yourself by reviewing the wrong batch of documents. This care needs to extend to the next few steps as well. Step three is to broaden your search results. Knowing how to narrow is important, but how do you narrow without losing what's important? Your second goal is simple. Don't exclude the most important result. What kind of mistake might you make here? Searching the wrong word is a big mistake. When you use the wrong word, you throw out good results. Each word or phrase is an expression of an idea. If you want to search, you need to collect the expressions. How do you figure out the relevant expressions? Let's pick a few words. The expressions are piece, figure, token, and miniature. Collectively, these are the idea. You could say these are the idea of a piece expressed broadly. How do you go looking for the different expressions that can fill out an idea? Choose any combination of these three easy options. Google it, ask ChatGPT, and check thesaurus.com. Connect each expression with the OR operator and enclose the group within parentheses. This is the idea of a piece expressed in searchable form. When you gather the expressions piece, token, figure, and miniature, you have a full idea. You don't have to include every expression in a search term. You just need to express the idea in a broad enough way that you'll catch everything important. Then use parentheses to join the expressions separated by the OR operator. That's how you search an idea. This is a full expression of an idea. Once you have a full expression of an idea, you can combine the idea with other search ideas. The takeaway is that you need to search an idea as a collection of expressions. You have the tools you need now. It's time to zero in on your results. What else is going to be in the document that you're looking for? Expand the next concept you pick in the same way. You can create another search idea like this. How many search results do you have now? If you got down to a reasonable number of results, start reviewing. If the number of results isn't reasonable, Add another search idea. Each idea you combine gets you a smaller result set. When do you stop? You don't want to add ideas that are not important to your invention. The next idea is to narrow with other ideas. If you chose a meaningful set of ideas, you will see it in the results. When you pull it all together, this is what it looks like. Each idea is held together by parentheses. Inside each idea, words and phrases are connected by the OR operator. Ideas are connected by the AND operator. When reviewing results, you can click on the individual results at the bottom left of the page. Once you clicked on a result, 
you can use the arrow keys to move through the documents. You can change your view by toggling to the top left button in the document viewer. There are several other options, including the ability to highlight keywords. Do you want an even faster way to narrow results? Check out my next video on abstract searching.